begin this practice, let's say that you get questions about HDR source exchanges or assaying. It's something that's very common and the examiner wants to verify that not only do you have experience with HDR source exchanges, but if you were the only physicist there at a time of a source exchange that you would know what to do and you have sound physics principles. So write the equation governing source strength when assaying a new HDR source, what equipment would be needed to determine the HDR source strength, and then what are other standard tests when a HDR source exchange takes place. So to begin, we need to know what our source strength is when we are measuring our new HDR source. Now to find that, we are going to use MRAW. Now this is the same as when you use a LINAC, it's just the uncorrected reading from your electrometer. Now this will be in nanoamps, excuse me, NA. Now it's important that you know all the units of these different factors because that is, they're testing that you know what you're doing, you know how the units are going to work together and that you are simply able to problem solve and you know what each one of these are. So first you have that, now you have a temperature pressure correction, just like for an ionization chamber when you do a LINAC. There is a new factor here called a ion. Now this is the charge collection efficiency correction. You get this at the calibration time and this is from the ADCL. Most of the time this is 1.0, but obviously will deter be determined based on your chamber. Next, we have our electrometer factor. I'm just gonna put EF here. Again, most of the time, this is 1.0. And then finally, we have our chamber factor. Now this, typically in a lot of chambers, they provide this in gray meter squared per hour amp. So now this is not necessarily the units we want because when we find the source strength ideally we get units of u which if you remember are centigrade per meter squared per hour so you know here's na and a those will cancel out and you may have to do a little conversion here but you will get u as your final unit so that is how you would determine the source strength now the equipment that you would need are one, I mean, this is gonna depend on your clinic. So it's paramount that you know what your clinic uses. And if you don't have HDR, look up what the most popular versions are. And you could just say, well, my clinic doesn't have HDR, but I know the most popular ones are this. It's also very advantageous to actually know some little quirks about each one of those, what's the active area, of the chamber, what size is it, just different just parameters of them to show that you know what you're talking about and you are familiar with that device. So for a chamber, you could use a standard imaging HDR 1000 plus, that is a very common one. And then for the electrometer, similarly, you could use the standard imaging max 4000. So those are two of the most popular pieces of equipment for this type of source exchange. And finally, what are some other standard tests you want to do? So this is simply, what are you gonna do for a source exchange? So the first thing you wanna do is a constancy check. So you want to do this before you even get your new source. So essentially you have a old source that you know what the activity is. So by setting up your chamber electrometer, verifying that you're going to get the same source strength when you already know what it is, you can say my chamber, my electrometer, my setup works, that those things are working correctly. And when I get my new source, if that activity is off for some reason, it's not my equipment, it's something with the source. So that is one thing you definitely have to do. You also would want to check your linearity, your any type of timer errors associated with the source and the afterloader. Now standard interlocks, the radiation alarms, things of that nature, anything that is pertaining to safety is important. Make sure all the emergency equipment is in there, stopwatches, pigs, all of that good stuff. Obviously you want to do a survey of the room. You want to verify 
transfer tubes and all the equipment is not broken. And then finally, a power check to verify that if your clinic loses power, the afterloader will be able to continue for 15 minutes or whatever it may be. So that is a good overview of a source strength and HDR source exchange. If you have any questions about this topic, please comment below. I will help where I can and happy studying.